Let's play with colors, shall we? Now, get a palette and mix red and yellow colors together. You would get a secondary color named orange, right? Now, let's take it a step further. Now, mix our orange color with a yellow. This is going to produce a tertiary color called yellow orange. Whoosh! <laughs> This is lovely, right? Now, in the same way, when a metal burns in air or oxygen, it produces a metallic oxide, for example, Na2O, K2O. Now, so we have 4Na solid combined with oxygen, that is O2, it gives us 2Na2O, that is sodium oxide. Now, taking it a step further and dissolving this hydroxide in water produces an hydroxide. Wow, sounds great, right? Now, this hydroxide could be soluble or insoluble. When it is soluble, it is called an alkali. So, we have learned that an alkali is basic hydroxide. So, we have learned that an alkali is a basic hydroxide that is soluble in water. Examples include sodium hydroxide, NaOH, potassium hydroxide, KOH, and calcium hydroxide, Ca, in bracket OH, now, and these are economically important. Now, let's look at the equation. Na2O in solid form, that is sodium oxide, combines with water, H2O in liquid form, to give us 2NaOH in aqueous form, that is sodium hydroxide. I hope you enjoyed that class. See you in the next class. Bye for now.